Inventory in games is a f I mean, a, a, I mean, heckin' gosh darn mess. Sorry, seven second rule, you know how it is. Like many people, I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3, and it's quite possibly the closest thing I've ever played to a perfect game, except for one, well, I guess two things. One being occasional bugs. Fascinating. And the second being inventory management. Pretty much everything I hate about inventory management is present here. There's an encumbrance system, a limited number of ways to sort your items, and most painful of all, no way to easily move items between characters who aren't in your party. There's only so many times I can hear Karlek say, Sounds boring. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, Karlek, but I really need that plus two asset damage ring on Lazel right now. Please work with me here. The fact they went so far as to include a search bar to help find items, I just find humorous because to me, that's just them saying, oh, you can't find that obscure quest item? Just Google it, lol. Also, just a personal nitpick. The fact that gold has weight to it just really kind of pisses me off. Yes, I know actual D&D has weight applied to gold, but come on. I can't think of another game that does this, and we're already bending the rules a bit with options like Karmic Dice, so if we wanted to make another concession, money being heavy is something I'm sure not many would miss. Anyway, what all this comes down to is an unavoidable chore being a part of what is otherwise a fantastic experience. But this isn't a problem limited to Baldur's Gate 3. Starfield just came out for rich people, and that game seems to have all the problems I just listed on top of having the same crappy interface from 12 years ago with Skyrim. In pretty much every game where you're expected to handle a variety of different items, it's always a chore to do so. Scour out a bit online and you'll find people complaining about this from otherwise well-regarded games. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Fallout, Mass Effect, The Witcher 3, and so on. Inventory management seems to be a universally hated aspect in a lot of otherwise great games and feels like a feature that nobody seems to have figured out how to do well. But there are a few exceptions. The main one that comes to my mind is Resident Evil 4. Managing your inventory in this game feels like a game in itself and complements its survival horror roots by making it a meaningful strategic choice to decide on what to carry and what to leave behind. Do you carry more guns at the cost of not being able to carry as much ammo? Do you pick up the frag grenade or the flash grenade? You pick up the flash grenade just so you can do this. Do you carry a fish named Joel in your inventory with no intention of eating it for the entire game? Yes, because Egbert the Egg needs a friend. Managing your inventory in Resident Evil 4 is just plain satisfying. So much so that someone made a game called Save Room that's just an RE4 inventory puzzle game. I bought and only intended to play it for like 10 minutes for this video, but I ended up playing through the whole thing and a day later I went back and played it again. I don't know, I feel like that shows they did something right here. I mean, why else would they bring it back for RE Village and the RE4 remake? This is only one example though, and I don't think there is a catch-all solution for every game because, well, every game is different. But there are small improvements that other games have done that I would like to see applied more often quests, key, and treasure items being kept in their own separate inventories, crafting items being limited to certain types and treated like a stackable resource to encourage scavenging without weighing the player down, consolidating multiple inventories to be in one menu, like Larian's literal previous title. Yeah, I'm not sure why they backtracked this one. Hang on a sec, I've made an oopsie. Okay, so I'm recording this right after I've edited this video, and after just doing a little bit of research, I only just now discovered this screen. When you press tab, I played this game for 120 <laughs> hours, and I didn't know that this was here. What the? F but even with all these improvements, I think managing inventory will always just be a necessary evil that we just have to deal with. And in some ways, it's meant to be a chore by design. During Diablo 3's development, they introduced the Cauldron of Jordan and Nephilim Cube to streamline inventory management without the need to go back to town. But they removed said features prior to launch, citing, It's a good idea to break up combat so that players have a moment to evaluate their gear and crafting options before venturing back out. And I actually kind of agree with this sentiment. Good pacing in any medium, including video games, needs peaks and valleys in the action. Otherwise, the experience just becomes stale. Shoutouts to extra credits for this chart. Check out the video in the description if you want to learn more.
Inventory management is one of those ways in which games can create those valleys of downtime as to not overstimulate the player. While I certainly always will have my pressure points and think things can always be improved regarding inventory management, the inner loot goblin in me just loves checking every crevice for every knickknack and doodad possible regardless of the headache it will cause later. And the act of finally getting all of your shit together has a strange pleasantry to it, like cleaning your room or putting away laundry in that, while it sucks in the moment, the payoff of getting it done just feels nice. <sighs> Sounds boring. So what do you guys think? Can inventory management really be fixed? Are there games that I forgot to mention that do it well? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for spending your limited amount of time watching my video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.